Hello guys, welcome to the first episode of reading slash debunking the Bible. Now in the study Bible, the first thing you come across is a guide to how you should read the Bible. In this first episode, I'm going to talk about this and what this tells us. Now the first thing I want to talk about is the first two points out of seven they give of what the Bible can do for us as humans. And I quote, Point 1. The Bible discovers sin and convicts us. Point 2. The Bible helps cleanse us from pollution of sin. Unquote. Now this is of course a great marketing stunt. The Bible creates a problem and then it gives us a solution in order to rope us in. In order, It gives itself the need for itself. Much like modern pharmaceutical companies invent a condition or disease and then present the cure in order to make a lot of money. The quote that now appears on your screen was the next thing that got my interest. There are a few things I want to point out about this statement. Number one, if the Bible is indeed the word of God, it doesn't need to comment on itself or interpret itself because that would mean that God is contradicting himself. The second point this statement also shows why, why religion is so bad. This statement basically says all you need is the Bible and it discourages the search for knowledge outside of the Bible. The third point I want to raise is that this statement holds if you don't care about the truth. However, if you care about the truth you will of course need outside sources to confirm what the Bible says. This is how the search for knowledge works. Another thing that caught my attention was the advice they gave to study the Bible right before you go to sleep. According to them, this will help your subconscious to remember, which is true enough. However, this has another dangerous effect. Studying the Bible right before you go to sleep might cause dreams about God and the Bible, which a person could see as a spiritual experience and as proof for a God. However, this would be just the same effect that watching a scary movie or a zombie movie right before you go to sleep has on your dreams. And having a nightmare about zombies is no more proof for zombies than having a dream about God when you read the Bible before you sleep is proof for God. This next statement will become important later in the series when we make our way through the Bible. Because saying all scripture is inspired by God will have some moral implications. For now, it is just important to make a mental note of this statement. Now, this next apparent contradiction also interested me a great bit. If the Bible is indeed infallible and inherently the word of God, then interpreting for the time and the culture difference is not necessary and should, should not even be allowed by true believers. Because if it's not the people of this time that thought this up, but God that in fact thought up the Bible, then a true believer needs to take the Bible literally. If not, you are not a true believer in the word of God. If you don't take care to interpret the verse according to the context, you could make the Bible teach atheism. For the Bible itself says there is no God. But the context makes very clear what this verse means. The entire sentence says, The fool had said in his heart, There is no God. Unquote. Now, this last quote I took from them is both funny and very, very disturbing. I think it betrays quite a lot about the way the person making such a statement thinks. I have never heard an atheist using that quote and I would be very surprised if I ever did hear it. In fact, the only groups of people that make such statements consistently on this level are creationists and conservative Christians. When they, for instance, quote mine Darwin on the complexity of the eye, I think this statement is offensive to atheists, either on an intellectual level, where they would think we are too dumb to understand what this verse means or they are insulting our morals 
thinking that we would actually go so low as to cut a sentence like that in two to make our point come across. Atheist would never do this. This is the end of the first episode. Thank you guys for watching. Next episode we will actually get to some Bible verses. I hope you guys liked this first episode and I hope you found it interesting. If you did, please like and comment on the video. If you didn't agree with me or what I had to say, please feel free to comment. I really like a good discussion. Bye guys.